Welcome. Today, let's talk about the past and the future of occupancy. What do you think about the last seven months? Wow, what a roller coaster ride. Take a breath, pinch yourself. If you feel the pinch, you survive those seven months. Now let's put our thinking caps on, do a few stress release exercises, and get ready for the next seven months. What have you done to be ready personally and professionally? And let's look back for or at food for thought. On a scale of one to five, five being the highest, how would you rate your team year-to-date success? Pretty good, could have done better, wish I had known. What could you have done to handle the short notice of the pandemic? Name three things. What added duties did you have to take on due to the pandemic? I know I took on a lot. What would have helped you with the stress of the last seven months? What pandemic procedures do you anticipate will remain long-term as a part of your day-to-day -day process and your company's policies? Now, what have you done or plan to do to get ahead of the next or the upcoming seven months. Some have networked with others and shared your experiences and ideas with us previously, and we've passed them on. We have a lot of viewers that really appreciated them. Our industry, as we know it, will never be the same. I have been in this business quite a while now, and one thing that I have learned is that due to the pandemic, we will have a new norm. I remember after the recession how things changed. The first change is going to be the residents. The educated, business savvy, informative clientele who have been living in conventional units now due to the pandemic may have to apply for affordable multifamily properties and for housing. That means your policies, procedures, and house rules need to be updated and self-explanatory to avoid interpretation, confusion, and challenges, especially the visitation policy, the Wi-Fi cable rules, and package drop-off to the office for packages that are too large to fit into the mailboxes. You must maintain your property in a decent, safe, and sanitary condition to avoid having residents calling HUD, the health department, or the local television vision stations. Having at least biannual unit inspections could help eliminate things happening in the unit that management was not aware of because it wasn't reported. When you turn a unit, turn the unit. Do not forget to paint the closets. Do not spot paint the walls. Wipe out the cabinets in the kitchen, the drawers in the bathroom. Clean the kitchen appliances. Change the HVAC filters. Make sure that your property lives up to the beautiful images of the pictures that were advertised on your website. Another challenge in the new change will be customer service and management's soft skills that will be challenged. Soft skills such as listening, responding, voice tone. We get calls all the time. That manager's just not listening to me or they're talking down to me. Watch your body language, your interviewing skills, and those type of things. To offset any of those items, management companies need to stay up to date on staff fair housing training, to brush up on the protective classes and other fair housing issues like harassment, retaliation, reasonable accommodations, and modifications. Keep in mind that most everyone, including kids, have a smartphone taking videos and pictures. This is just a little food for thought. This month, we'll look at changes in the industry and changes that management may want to consider. With all this in mind, keep in mind that we are here for you and we hope 
the Tuesday tips have been beneficial and helpful to you. Thanks for watching. Thanks to all of you that sent in those kind words. And if you answered the questions at the beginning of the tip, you can email them to me at thebell at navigatehousing.com. See you next time for another Tuesday tip. Did you like this video? Hit the like button below. Do you want to see more content just like this? Be sure to subscribe to all our social media platforms. And if you know someone who could really use this information, be sure to share it.